Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this Two Minute Tuesday, I'm gonna show you how to make your reports run just a little bit faster in Power BI. Okay, so slicers. Report consumers love slicers and they want them all over their uh, report pages, but what they don't realize is they can slow things down. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your reports run just a little bit faster by making a slight change to your slices, all right? So you guys know what I like to do. Instead of all this talking, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. All right, so I have a report here. I have two pages in it, and I'm gonna show you, show you a neat little trick that'll make things run just a little faster. So I'm gonna switch over to this page. Before I do, I wanna make sure I have the performance analyzer running so you can see the run times of everything, all right? So I'm gonna switch over to my slices page. And this is where I'm using slices on the page. Everything is rendering up. It's my super fast report. And you'll see each one of my slices here. So I'm gonna expand each one out. And you'll see that while the visual display and other does take a little bit, what I'm focusing in on the DAX, focusing in on is the DAX query because that's what I really can change, all right? And so take a look. Each one of these slices, this one took 14 milliseconds, this one took 65 milliseconds, and this one took 45 milliseconds. I know, what, I know what you're thinking, right? That's nominal, Patrick, but if you have a lot of slices on the page, and believe me, I've seen reports with 20, 30 slices, and if I can delay the execution of that DAX query, I probably can speed up my report a little bit. And you're probably wondering, Patrick, well, how can I delay the execution of a DAX query. Ah, let me show you, all right? So I'm gonna clear this. I'm gonna clear the performance analyzer pane out, and then I'm gonna switch to another page where I've converted all of my slices to drop downs. Just simply converted them. I click this little drop down, click this little drop down arrow and choose drop down, right? So I'm gonna switch to that page. Now watch what happens. Everything's gonna render. A second, give it a second. And then I expand the year slicer out to dash. I explain, expand the brand slicer out, dash. Continental, continent slicer, dash. Hmm, why isn't it executing a DAX query? All you have to do to delay the execution of those DAX queries is convert your slicers from lists to drop downs. It's amazing. Now, the only time it'll run that DAX query is if I interact with that slicer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna interact and what I mean by interact is if I click it, if I click the drop down, then a DAX query is going to run. So let's clear this out. And then I'm going to go ahead and click the drop down for brand name. Now it's running, right? It executed that query for me. And if I expand it out now, you see that it actually did run the DAX, DAX query. So just by simply converting it from a list to a drop down, I've delayed the DAX query, and now the only time I'm going to incur the cost of that DAX query is when someone interacts with those slices. So if no one ever interacts with those slices, never incur that cost. What do you guys think, right? It's pretty cool, right? It's maybe bananas, I don't know. Anyway, so if you got any questions, comments, you know what to do, post it in the comments below. If it's your first time visiting Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.